Our next speaker is someone whose 20 year career history is an example of excellence in technical and professional expertise. If you've ever heard of the MRI, Magnetic Resonance Imaging, you're talking to someone who not only understands it, but pushes the technology further. He came here from Tokyo, got his doctorate at the Case Western Reserve University in physics, and not only became someone who was known throughout the country for his expertise in manufacturing, but is somebody who employs hundreds of people. He's a generous person. He is a huge patron of the Cleveland uh, Museum of Art, and he's also recently been named the Honorary Consul General to the United States from Japan. Please welcome Dr. Hiroyuki Fujita. First of all, thank you very much for that uh, kind introduction, uh, Mr. Joe Simberman, uh, our president and CEO of the Global Freedom. So, as a um, um, immigrant uh, from Japan, yesterday and today were the very special days, days uh, to, to the nation, to Japan, and then to myself. Because yesterday, April 30th, was the uh, day when the uh, you know um, um, outgoing member stepped down uh, yesterday, and today May first we have the incoming uh, emperor, and uh, his new era is referred to as a leiwa, and uh, in Japanese leiwa means a, uh, a beautiful harmony. So uh, my remark today would be emphasizing you know on this uh, uh, harmony because. I do believe that at the end of the day, no matter where we are from, and no matter what we do, I think that uh, uh, harmony has to be the key word for whatever we do. So, uh, let me start. So, uh, as I said, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, distinguished guests, um, hello and welcome uh, to Cleveland. I am uh, Hiroyuki Fujita in English, and in Japanese, I am Hiroyuki Fujita. <laughs> so, <laughs> and uh, on behalf of the uh, uh, Global Cleveland and uh, its board, uh, we have the board chair, uh, David Kresher, and also, of course, Robert, um, and then our you know, president, uh, Superman. I would like to thank you very much for joining us for Cleveland's inaugural Sister Cities Conference. I am so honored to have this opportunity to speak today to welcome and recognize our sister cities from all over the world. Cleveland is fortunate to include 24 sister cities. I mean, you did say that 23, but I did count 24, so uh, please uh, forgive me for this uh, inaccuracy, but uh, there are a lot of cities. Uh, from Europe, the Middle East, Africa, Russia, Asia and Central and South America. So we have the mutual benefit of sharing each other's cultural, educational, and business experience. As you may be able to tell, I am not a uh, uh, native Clevelander. After studying at uh, Waseda University in Tokyo, I came to the United States back in 1998 to complete my undergraduate degrees. I moved to Cleveland in 1992 to obtain my physics PhD from Case Western Reserve University. 31 years after coming to the US, I am still here. I am now a proud US citizen and have chosen Cleveland as my home. Although I still look like Japanese, Cleveland welcomed and embraced me as one of their own. My education at Case Western Reserve led me to the healthcare industry, as uh, uh, Joe said, in particular, MRI, Magnetic Resonance Imaging. With the support of uh, Cleveland community, in 2006, I founded and currently lead Quality Electrodynamics, uh, aka also known as QED, a medical device technology company, which innovates <coughs> and uh, manufactures radio frequency detectors and antennas supplying MRI original equipment manufacturers worldwide. With all that Ohio has offered me, 
I have been honored to have this opportunity to give back by serving on many of its community boards, including the Ohio State University, the Cleveland Orchestra, the Cleveland Foundation, Greater Cleveland Partnership, Cleveland Clinic, Hillcrest Hospital, and as well as many committees for Case Western Reserve, Case Western Reserve University. Additionally, as uh, uh, John mentioned, I also served as the inaugural honorary consul of Japan in Cleveland to promote cultural, political, and business exchanges between Japan and Ohio and the states. So perhaps Cleveland has to find its sister city in Japan. That's going to be one of my tasks. <laughs> My worldwide business travels have provided me with a unique perspective to introduce Cleveland to the world for its education, business, and cultural opportunities, but not everyone has the same lifestyle or access to international exposure. The Sister Cities Initiative allows communities worldwide to also have the opportunity to learn from its counterparts that may not otherwise be available to their citizens. These important cultural exchanges promote a global citizenship, recognizing each community's unique attributes and our common goals and concerns alike. Perhaps more than ever, the importance of Sister Cities International's founder, President Dwight David Eisenhower's vision must be reminded and revisited. Peace and prosperity by fostering bonds from people all over the world are of most importance in today's political climate. A recent magazine article cited the top 10 concerns among young adults as climate change, war, discrimination, poverty, religious conflict, government corruption, food and water security, education, safety, and economic opportunity. We are not islands of humanity isolated by geopolitical boundaries. Each of these top 10 concerns is dependent upon world conditions not bound by territorial constraints. If the value of the dollar falls in the US, it affects the market worldwide. When a glacier melts in, in the Arctic, sea levels rise worldwide. When crime, war, and poverty rise, it diminishes all of my, mankind. It will only be through our efforts based upon harmonious partnership and collaboration as a global community that we can successfully work together to face our challenges, share our successes, erase societal boundaries while preserving and celebrating our diversity. Conferences like today's, uh, this particular conference, and all of these sister cities initiatives help evolve our community's perspectives from us and them to our. In closing, I would like to thank you so very much for your willingness to belong and participate in our journey to promote this global citizenship and one planet. Thank you very much. Yeah.